Last week at Phoenix, we unfortunately DNF'd. Not gonna lie, kind of sad about that because I was actually really, really looking forward to finishing that race and possibly pulling off a win, maybe. But today we are gonna be doing 26 laps in Southern California at the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana. So let's get down to the track for some qualifying. Qualifying at lap starts now. Hopefully we get a good run today. Uh, that would be quite nice. Get a little bit of redemption from our DNF last week. Now if you guys saw Friday's video about the what if we had an NASCAR Heat 6, I think it would be uh, it would be nice if we did have it even though it probably yeah would be copy and paste of Heat 5, but, you know, we don't have the things that the Nintendo Switch version has, which is the, uh, stuff where Rick Allen talks about the race facts, and we are starting on pole. For the first time, we are starting from pole position with our teammate Denny Hamlin right beside us. Let's freaking go. Like, see, right now, Rick Allen would be giving us a little thing on the Nintendo Switch. But, um, that's not gonna happen because we're not playing on the Nintendo Switch. So, unfortunately, that's... That green flag is out here at Fontana. Let's see who's gonna win it. Stage 1, 6 laps. I imagine that stage two is probably going to be six laps as well, and then we will probably run everything else. Hopefully you guys are having a good day looking forward to the Richmond race later today. The Truck Series race. Truck Series race was alright. Um... It was okay, but uh, you guys should know who my pick already is for Richmond. He won Richmond earlier this season. I think, I think the guy that's running second place right now is probably going to do that. How many laps? Okay, we can run 13 laps, so probably going to pit after stage two. Not going to pit in stage one. There, there's no point in pitting here. Um, stage two and... Depending on how long it is, we will maybe we'll split the stage in half. Um, not a hundred percent sure what we're gonna do for that. Talk about Noah Gregson going to Petty GMS. That was kind of like not gonna lie to you guys they haven't been really good keeping secrets lately in the garage like they haven't been keeping it a secret at all a lot of things that have happened throughout the season nothing's been really kept a secret um still waiting on a Kyle Busch announcement something to happen there to be honest with you I would I, I you guys know I don't care I don't like Kyle Busch I don't care for him but I would really hate for him to lose his ride at Joe Gibbs Racing in the number 18 car, but I think it's probably going to be down to either him staying at Joe Gibbs for one more year and then finding sponsorship if he can, or just leaving Joe Gibbs entirely and possibly going to, I think his, the main place that he's probably going to have to go is going to be Stuart Haas Racing in either the 10 or the 41. Those are like the, the only two cars that I can think that he could go in and then obviously Ty Gibbs is going to be in the 18 if that happens unless Denny Hamlin buys a third charter for 2311 throws Ty in there or because Kurt Busch you know isn't racing this weekend then you know maybe he can maybe Kurt retires a year early and then the 45 car goes to Ty Gibbs for a year you, you never know and then Ty Gibbs goes to the 19 in 2024 after Martin Truex Jr. retires. You never know. There's a lot of silly season stuff happening in the NASCAR Cup Series and Xfinity Series Garage. 
This car is feeling pretty good, actually. Um, liking it. We probably have a we have a almost a ten. We have a ten second lead on fifth place. We are leaving these guys in the dust. Comment below. Do you think we are going to be able to pull off the victory here and actually win the race? Hopefully, we do. Because that would be absolutely amazing. White flag for stage one is out. We're going to win. I think this is going to be our first or second stage win of the year. I'm just going to call this our first. Because I'm not 100% sure and I'm not going to pause the I'm not going to pause to uh, watch back the video and actually look. So, Stage 1 is going to go to us. Surprisingly, this is going to run green as they are just coming to the back stretch. Coming into turns 3 and 4. For the final time, coming through turns 3 and 4 on to the front stretch. We are going to cross the finish line in first and win stage number one. That is your top ten. So actually, they're all going to pit. So might as well just stay on the same strategy and pit. One, two, three, all Joe Gibbs racing. I don't know where Kyle Busch is, but I know we got that boy. Okay, Kyle Busch is right there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we are able to actually, uh, pull off the victory here. Seven laps, and we can run a 14 here. We're going to run the high line, it looks like, a little bit. Denny Hamlin's going to come low. He's got help with Truex. We're going to go into the wall. Okay, file in behind Denny. We're not filing. Nope, not gonna happen. We're gonna go up high again. And William Byron's just gonna run us up the track. We're gonna give him a little not too uh, friendly taps there. Tell him that we really didn't appreciate that. Can we get a Joe Gibbs racing at one, two, three? That would be. That would be pretty cool. It would also be pretty cool if Kyle Busch got his whiny butt up here. And uh, we could have a Joe Gibbs 1, 2, 3, 4. Because that would be even better. We're all going to kind of file in a line just a little bit there. We're going to block MTJ right on Denny Hamlin. Sheesh. And we go on the apron to kind of pass for the lead. Five laps to go in stage two. Kind of getting shoved up the racetrack here. The car, the car likes running at the high line. That is for sure. She she likes the high line. We're gonna kind of run Darlington a little bit here, but on a mile and a half. <laughs> uh, lovely, just, yeah. Just run Darlington on a mile and a half. They put dirt on Bristol. Raced inside of a historic coliseum. Eh, let's just make it a, a... Yeah, I don't know anymore. I know there have been talks about Auto Club becoming a... This racetrack becoming a short track. Which, not gonna lie to you guys, I doubt it's really gonna happen because... Like, they just... They've changed it so many times from a short track... To a super speedway, to keeping it the same. Like for the past, I'd say, a couple years, they've been kind of switching it up back and forth between. No, we're gonna have it as a super speedway. We're gonna make it a short track. And I feel like they just cannot make up their minds at all. Which 
I mean, I understand that, like, it's, it's hard to do sometimes, but, like, they gotta, like, they gotta figure out something because it's, it's coming down to the point where they're kind of running out of time to do it. Caution came out, and we are gonna win stage two as well. It is your stage two two final results and we are also gonna pit again we go to third We're gonna push Martin Truex Jr. Fumbled the restart there was taking a drink of my Gatorade and uh, come on Kyle push me Looks like Truex is still in the lead. There, William Byron might be trying to challenge for it. I think Byron got it. Come on. Toyota 1, 2, 3, baby. Come on, let these Toyotas shine. Had to pedal it just a little bit there. We got Bowman the Showman. Right there in third. Say hi up there. Oh, me and Denny Hamlin are moving. Hold that line, we are moving, boys. Right. Send them up. Truex not gonna follow. Stay Byron kind of shoves us wide. Just a little bit. Gonna push Denny Hamlin one more time. Get underneath him a little bit. Kinda get him. Oh, a little loose. Did not want to wreck him. I don't know where I'm going. We're going off to somewhere land. We drop a whole bunch of positions. File in. We got eight laps to, uh,. To figure something out here. Can we do something, boys? What are we gonna be able to do? Are we gonna be able to get it or not? Comment below. William Byron gonna dive down. Stay low, stay low. Push Truex. Just a bit there, and does Denny Hamlin save All it? Right, he saves there. it. Throws down the late block. Shove him out of the way. Joe Gibbs racing one, two, three. This is gonna be a fight between me and Denny Hamlin for the lead. That's for sure, unless he gets passed by Truex, gaining more time on him, putting more time down. Seven laps to go. Putting time on our two other Joe Gibbs Racing teammates. If I don't get into the wall again, we're going to send this Craftsman Toyota Camry TRD into Victory Lane. 
Something Eric Jones, I think, only did maybe once or twice in his Joe Gibbs racing at career. I think. I don't know if he ever sent it to Victory Lane. I think he did. Not 100% sure. Can't quite remember exactly. But we are just driving away. Are we going to get into lap traffic with five laps to go? You never know what's going to happen. We've had a caution-free race so far. No cautions or anything have came out besides the stage breaks. Hopefully it stays that way as well. Coming off of a DNF. Running first. <laughs> That's just quite amazing. Caution! Okay. Alright, this, uh, th this is gonna... Alright, we are going to go in NASCAR over time. Let's see what happens here. What is going to happen? What's going to happen? Two to go. It's going to be probably a drag race between me and Denny Hamlin. Kind of getting a little loose. There, got a little bit loose. Rubbed the wall just a little bit. And uh, it looks like... Might be able to drive away with this, boys. We might be able to drive away with it, not 100% sure, just yet. White Flag is out, presented by Apex Gaming PCs, one to go. We are in first place, leading to get our first win of the season. Hopefully it actually happens and we don't... Uh, could you imagine if we DNF'd on the last turn? I, I would want to quit. Ryan Trex Jr. Denny Hamlin having a battle back there. That's going to be amazing. For the final time, he's coming off turns three and four on to the front straightaway. After DNFing last week, we are going to win at Auto Club Speedway. Let's go, boys. Let's go. First win of the season. We're going to burn it down. Let's go. Heck yeah, baby. We got it. Let's freaking go. What a week it has been. Man. Boss man is gonna love this one. That's for sure. We're gonna put the car in victory lane. Gonna do a burnout right in victory lane. Let's freaking go, boys. First win of the season in the Gatorade Victory Lane at Auto Club. Let's go. Gano with his two wins, me with my win, and Brad Keselowski winning last week is your... Uh, that's what that is. That's a nice looking trophy, a nice looking car in victory lane first place after dnfing next week we go to canadian tire motorsports park and then after that where are we going we're going to charlotte darlington and the roval Ugh. i hate the roval that I, I don't like the roval
these are the current playoff standings. So if the playoffs were to start today, Chase Elliott would be the last driver in Brad Kozlowski in 14th with that win. He needs to keep a top 30. He needs to be in the top 30 to be able to, uh, you know, it's kind of weird, you know, seeing the 38 car out there in 34th, you know. We, we, we had some solid runs in that 34, in that 38 car. I don't know why I keep saying the 34. But, uh, we won today, boys. Super happy about that. So, all we can do is hope for the best next weekend at a road course. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share that, friends, if you enjoyed. If you are interested in getting a gaming computer, please click the link in the description below this video. Apex Gaming PCs. If you guys use code SQUAD, S Q U A D, you guys can get 10% off. Using that correctly, 10% off. And also, if you guys click the link that says giveaway here in the description, you guys can get entered to win a full on streamer gaming PC, headphones, microphone, whole nine yards giveaway ends august 22nd again giveaway ends august 22nd peace out and i'll see you guys in the next one Yee. -yee.